This video is not a substitute for reading and understanding all the instruction manuals and warning labels supplied with the equipment, nor is it a substitute for reading and understanding the MSDS supplied by the material supplier. Okay, Mike, what do we have here? Okay, so what we have here is this is the, the Triton 308 um, air spray package, all right? We've got the Triton air motor here, mm -hmm. all right? It's an eight gallons per minute pump. All right, so we're going to hook that up to air, okay. and then we're going to flush this unit out. Whenever you have a brand new unit, you want to make sure that you get a little solvent and flush the system clean before you load in the paint. Okay, so that way you know that your system is clean before you introduce the paint in there. Exactly right. Okay. Yep. Okay, a couple of safety things we should talk about. Right. First of all, glasses. Make sure we were wearing our safety glasses. Okay. Personal protection yep. for hands. Yep. Okay, when we start spraying, we'll, we'll wear uh, respirators. Um, and also grounding. We want to make sure we have good grounding on a couple of things. We should have it on the paint package itself okay. as well as any metal pails that we have for uh, um, flushing the system or supplies. Okay. Well, I see a grounding connection right there. Grounding right connection right here, yep. Okay, so that one will connect to a, a nerve ground. Yep. Okay. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab a, a metal pail, Eric, real fast. All right, so this is our solvent supply, and we're just going to go ahead and um, put that right on in there. Okay. All right. So, well, again, what we want to do is we're going to take our pickup tube, and this is the pickup tube right here. All right. So this is attached to the inlet of the pump, and we're just going to submerge it right into the solvent there. All right. Um, the next thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and hook the airline up to this. There we go. There we go. All right. So now the airline is attached. We have. Two regulators on the top of this package. One is for the pump, and one is for the atomizing air to the gun. All right. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to um, back these all the way off. So when we actually turn the air valve on here, that we're not surprised by any uh, air out to the gun or to the pump. So if these are backed all the way out, now we can go ahead and turn this valve full open. Now we've got supply air going to both regulators. Okay. Okay. All right. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and grab the gun. So um, we're just going to take this, and I'm just going to put it right back into my supply here, my solvent supply, and I'm going to go ahead and, and trigger the gun before I start anything up here. All right. So I'm going to put a little pressure on the pump. As soon as the pump starts cycling, right, I can stop putting that pressure on there. So I'm just trying to load any solvent or load the system full of solvent to, to flush out any residue of what may have been in there in the okay. last time we used it. What kind of solvent do you use, Mike? Good question. Um, what you want to use is you want to use a solvent that's compatible with whatever paint you're going to be loading into okay. the system. Okay. So check with your material supplier if you don't. Okay. Absolutely. Check with your material supplier. All right. Okay. Once the system is loaded, one of the things you always want to do when you're working with these systems is go ahead and relieve any fluid pressure that may be in the system. Okay. All right. Another safety feat. So, so you do that by just turning off your turning off the air to your pump. Yep. Triggering your gun into your bucket. Absolutely. And that's it. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Next thing we can do is we can pull this pickup tube back out of the supply. Okay, we're now done with this, so we can go ahead and remove the supply. All right, now we're going to bring our actual paint into the picture here, and we're just going to go ahead and load the system with paint now. Okay, all right, we've got a waste bucket here. Okay. Again, let's get that uh, brown strap over here. And we're going to go ahead and load the paint into the system. Same procedure that we used when we primed it with solvent. So I'm going to go ahead and trigger the gun. Okay. I'm going to start applying pressure to the pump. Okay, we're starting to see some paint coming through the hose. Still looks like it's clear. Seeing a little bit of air come through there, sure. so that means that we're almost there. There we go. So now we can see we have the black paint, and as soon as we're satisfied that we've evacuated all of the solvent, then we can go ahead and we can uh, stop priming the system. All right? Okay, good. Okay. Once again, 
We are done with this, so we can go ahead and remove that. Okay. Okay, the next step is gonna be setting our fluid pressure. All right. Okay. So what we wanna do is, this is, again, this is a compliant gun. So we want fluid pressures that are gonna range somewhere between, you know, ultimately we'd like to see somewhere between eight and 12, you know, no more than 20 PSI. If you have to put more than 20 PSI to this gun to move the fluid through there, we've probably got too small of a tip selected. Oh, okay. Okay? So. So we're basically checking what we exactly calculated right. earlier. Exactly right, double with, checking. Yeah. Again, we want that, that fluid stream coming out of the end of the gun, eight to 10 inches, and then it should be breaking away. And okay. we should see something around that eight to 10 PSI. Okay. Right? Next thing we wanna do is we wanna set up our supply to override our regulator. In other words, I wanna make sure that if there's any pulsation on pump changeovers, that the regulator is taking that pulsation out. Okay. So our supply should be possibly 30 to 40 PSI, our operating pressure actually somewhere less than 20. Okay, go ahead and I'm gonna pull the trigger and I'm gonna look at my stream. All right, so right now, I've got an inlet pressure of about 25 PSI on my pump. All right, I'm gonna increase that to about 40, and then I'm gonna start increasing my regulator until I get the paint stream that I'm looking for. Okay. I have a little bit of air still in the system, that's why you're seeing the, uh, the fluid stream go up and down. Okay, so now I've got a paint stream. It's coming out approximately uh, six to eight inches, and then it's breaking away. So I can give this just a little bit more, okay? And now we've got something that's about eight to 10 inches, and then it's starting to break away, okay? All right, my fluid pressure is about nine PSI, so that's a good setting. Just where you wanted it to Exactly be. right. Okay? Okay, so that basically has set your fluid pressure and your flow rate. That's exactly, I got my fluid pressure and my flow rate. Now, what you can do is if you want to determine your actual flow rate, is you can get a cup, a beaker, right, okay. and a stopwatch, and beaker it into that, or flow it into that beaker until you see what you actually got in one minute's time. Okay, so basically time a minute, measure the volume that came out of your gun. Exactly okay. right. 